What's up guys, BC Amplified. This is weekend update for the weekend of Friday, October 6, 2017. This weekend update is going to revolve around one big story. And that's Tyrese Gibson calling out The Rock because The Rock wants to make his own Hobbs movie. Hobbs, the character from Fast and Furious. Who would not jump at the opportunity to make their own movie around a character that they really love playing? Of course. Let's not kid ourselves. We all know that the Fast family, as the Fast and Furious cast calls themselves, we all know that they hated The Rock from day one because they were forced with a truth that they didn't want to admit. And that's that The Rock helped revive that whole series, that whole franchise. Around Fast and Furious 5, that series was already dead. Tokyo Drift killed that series. And then every movie thereafter, people were showing up, absolutely, but out of habit and hope, just like they show up for re pro wrestling. Habit and hope, hoping that something cool will happen in this movie. But it rarely does. Each movie, I could pick about four or five scenes that were kind of fucking cool, and that's it. The movies never have a good story arc. The acting is always subpar. And we all know why we show up to those movies. To see the fast cars, the action. It's not for Tyrese's acting ability, I assure you. But Tyrese is going on a Instagram just fucking spree and bashing The Rock for being selfish. Because he took his own movie role as the Hobbs character. And that's going to prolong the Fast and Furious franchise, the next installment of the franchise, the next movie. It's going to prolong it one year. Tyrese, you should be thanking your lucky stars that the Fast and Furious franchise is still alive. And again, thanks to The Rock. The fact that that's, there's going to be a 9, 10, 11, 12 movie in the future is, is mind-boggling to me. And you have the absolute gall to bash The Rock because he wants to do something really cool because The Rock is a bona fide superstar. Let me break this down to you. As somebody who's in the entertainment business myself, as an actor in New York City, I can, I can break this down for you, Tyrese, all right? I, it's, a, it's a shame that I actually have to break this down. The Rock is a bona fide superstar. He is a Hollywood A-lister, a superstar. Okay, production went to him. Okay, am I, am, am I speaking clearly enough for you? Production went to The Rock, this A-list superstar, and said, we want to make a film based on the Hobbs character centered around you. And The Rock, being an A-lister, started breaking it down about how much y'all get paid, uh, what kind of movie this is going to be, how much creative control, blah, blah, blah. And he said, let's do it. That is called a business decision, especially in the entertainment business. You do not turn something like that down because nothing in the entertainment business should be taken for granted. Nothing in the entertainment business is a guarantee, even when it is written in stone. So when somebody comes to you and says, we want to make a movie surrounding your character, of course you're going to jump on that. You don't ask questions. They say jump, you say how high. So let me break down further for you, Tyrese. He's the bona fide A-lister. You, Tyrese, you're what's called a supporting actor. Literally what The Rock says, you have to know your role and shut your mouth. You are a supporting actor. I'm going to break down what Tyrese said in his one of his Instagram spree posts here about The Rock. He unleashed several bashing The Rock, but this is his last one. It's pretty lengthy, but I'm going to read it. I'll try to go quick. This is Tyrese talking about The Rock on his Instagram underneath a photo of the original cast of Fast and Furious. Diversity, love, multi-ethnic, worldwide, multi-generational, United Nations, one race, fast family. Until Dwayne showed up. I guess this whole time he had a problem because he wasn't the only one on the movie poster. I guess dreams do come true. Congratulations, H.H. Garcia 41 and at The Rock. Garcia is Rock's former wife and current uh, manager of the whole Seven Bucks production company that The Rock owns. Uh, Garcia is The Rock's manager, basically. So congratulations uh, to Garcia and The Rock. You guys are just amazing. You really broke up the Fast family. I tried to warn you guys. You thought I was just hating. I was simply fighting to keep the family together. What makes us great is when you see all of us together. We don't fly solo. My last post today, I got three years of venting on this clown. Calling The Rock a clown now. 
Ah, uh, three years venting on this clown. They offered, but you didn't have to agree to a solo Hobbs movie. Original Fast Family, we salute you and stand on your shoulders. Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, Roman, they were all offered spinoffs and turned it down. And then he goes on a bunch of hashtags. There is so much wrong in this post, where do I begin? He was offered a role, but he didn't have to take it. Are you his manager, you dumb sack of shit? He was offered a starring role as Hobbs around his own character, the whole movie was going to revolve around this epic character. He's an A-lister. They're throwing a shitload of money. You guys hated him from beginning, and he knew that. Vin Diesel was talking about this last year, how he didn't like him. You admitted in this post, three years you've been waiting to vent on him. So obviously you guys weren't eating lunches together. And he's not supposed to take it? Are you his manager? Are you paying his bills? Are you securing his daughter's future? Or his own future? I don't care how much money he already has. Yeah, he could call it quits right now and not have to work another day. But you're not his bank account fucking person. You're not his Bank of America person. Whatever bank he has. Probably seven fucking offshore accounts. You're not handling his money. You're not his wife. You're not his mother. You're not his manager. And again, you're not handling his banking needs. You're not his entertainment manager. You're nothing. And you have the balls to say they offered... But you didn't have to accept your own movie. Oh, thanks, Tyrese. Thanks a lot, motherfucker. Uh, let The Rock follow your advice. Look how your career ended up, you dumb shit. Aside from Fast and Furious, I cannot tell you one movie Tyrese was in. And The Rock is supposed to take your advice. The Rock is supposed to be part of your family, which you just admitted was never a part of your family. When he's the reason you still have a job, because we all know, Tyrese, the real reason you're pissed off is because without Fast and Furious, you are nothing. That is your only employment the last 10 years, I bet. Aside from all these little side gigs and side little even more supporting roles, even less than you are on Fast and Furious. That's why you're pissed off that this got delayed. Because now you're out of work for another 12 months. Ow! Stings, doesn't it? The truth hurts. You bash The Rock because he wants to take his own Hobbs movie, but then you say, you say to the original Fast family, we salute you and stand on your shoulders. Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, and Roman were all offered spinoffs and turned it down. First of all, you just expose yourself, you idiot. Tyrese says Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, and Roman were all offered spinoffs. Notice how you weren't, Tyrese. That's how in insignificant you are. You were never offered a spin-off yourself because your character in your role was insignificant. So shut up and sit in the corner with your head between your knees. Paul Walker, I don't know what his deal was with turning it down, if that is true, because he must have had his reasons because Paul Walker is actually smart. So there must have been more to the story. Vin Diesel is just an absolute schmuck and an idiot and a moron for turning down his own flick because we all know how Vin Diesel's career went. He took on some of the stupidest roles ever, and the guy's got the acting ability of a snail. I take that back. A snail can act better than Vin Diesel. Guys like you and Vin Diesel, Tyrese, should be thanking your lucky stars that you were a part of something that caught on. I promise you, if your character died in one of these movies, and you weren't in the next one, nobody would give a shit. In fact, half the movie would go by before we realized, oh shit, wasn't that guy Tyrese in this movie? And that's if people even remember halfway through. And you're going to give The Rock some advice. How fucking nice of you. This is the most unprofessional. And again, guys, this is coming from an actor in New York City. This is the most unprofessional thing you can do in this business. To take what you need to say to somebody and take it on social media when you can pick up a phone and you tell The Rock exactly what you feel and what you think. And you go man to man. But on social media, you blast a dude who's an A-lister who's looking out for his own future because his fast family hated him. He was never a part of that family. When all he tried to do was come and re-fucking re spark that franchise. And guess what? It worked. After The Rock got there, the franchise was sparked again. And you hated that. That this newbie came in and fucking gave it life when you guys were fucking killing it. You don't like that. You know... One of my first fucking big roles was going to be for a show called Blue Bloods. 
And I was so fucking ecstatic. Moved to New York, and at that point, I was getting all these stupid roles. I couldn't even get into the fucking union, and here they are. They're like, We're, it's going to be a three-day shoot. You're going to be one of our featured police officers with three lines. Three lines, guys. This was huge. My first time with television, national television lines. I was going to be fucking put right into the SAG union, Taff Hartley. It was going to be mega. And Donnie Wahlberg, the star for Blue Bloods, ended up having a prior engagement or came under the weather or some shit. And guess what? That three-day shoot postponed. And we know what that means in the entertainment business. It's probably going to get cut down if even shooting it. That's probably all going to be cut. And if it does go back on, it's not going to be the way it was. So my three-day shoot was going to be tremendously altered. Sure enough, we did not film until five weeks later. And that three-day shoot was one day. And that four scenes, one of them with me having three lines, that got cut down to one 16-second scene by the time it actually aired. I was better off being a background actor than what it actually ended up being for me. That was supposed to be my big breakout national TV appearance. I was going to call my mom and be like, Mom, I'm on TV. You think after that I blamed Donnie Wahlberg? You son of a bitch. You took something else that was bigger and better than your own pre presentation on Blue Bloods. And you cost me my television time. No. He's the superstar. There was an engagement he needed to do. And he found a way with Blue Bloods, that production, to get out of that scene and repackage it and refilm it later on in an altered way that cost me uh, so, some days of employment. But that's the business. If you're in the entertainment business, you know damn well anything can happen and anything will happen. That's the acting world we live in. It's the gig life. Nothing is set in stone, even if it is set in stone. Anything happens on a drop of a dime. Tyrese, if you don't know that, then you're a bigger idiot than I thought you were. You should not be in this business Period. And if it wasn't for Fast and Furious in this franchise, you wouldn't be in this business. Cut your shit. He is a bona fide A-lister. You're a supporting actor. When The Rock snaps his fingers and says, let's go, pooch, then you go. Until then, shut your fucking mouth. Sit in your fucking corner. And if you got to post shit, leave The Rock's name out of it. Or any A-lister, any actor, handle your business the way it should be. Pick up a phone or go face to face with them. You're going to cut down somebody who's a fucking A-lister who's looking out for their own career. I'm not going to fucking rehash this another 10 minutes. What I will say is it's pretty funny how you're so insignificant that The Rock didn't even bother responding to your ass. As of right now, early morning, Friday morning, October 6th, The Rock hasn't even responded that's how insignificant you truly are. Vin Diesel responded on his Instagram. He just put hashtag brotherhood. So obviously you're all against The Rock now. Real cute. All these people together combined will never equal the acting ability and the talent that The Rock has. And this isn't even a rock mark. I'm not even a huge fan of The Rock, professional wrestling wise speaking. Not even a big fan. But as an actor... I can see wrong and right in this picture very clearly. The Rock is doing exactly what he should be in the entertainment business, looking out for himself. You're the fucking idiot that wants to consider yourself a family. Because you know, if you consider yourself a family, Tyrese, you get to get a rub off of everybody else. A rub off of Vin. A rub off of Paul Walker when he was still here. A rub off of The Rock. And maybe you'll be significant. But when the Hobbs movie comes around, oh, now you're not in the picture for your little fucking 12, 15 scenes. Uh-oh. Tyrese is going to be forgot about. Is it possible to be forgotten about even more than you already were? I doubt it. If you smell! That's BC Amplified's weekend update, guys. Sorry it's centered around a story outside the ring, but this is something, as a professional actor, I had to get off my chest because this is just uh, something that's so unprofessional. He's calling out The Rock for being unprofessional and putting one thing on hold to do his own thing. When, uh, don't forget guys, if you didn't know, Fast and Furious, that next uh, part of the movie, the next movie in the, in the franchise, I should say, was not even in pre-production yet. So you're damn fucking right that The Rock can do whatever he wants and postpone it another year. Absolutely he can. You're 
fucking ass, Tyrese. You're gonna have to go find other work. You have to find other employment. Don't blame The Rock because you're in the unemployment line, you dumb fuck. I'll do some wrestling real quick, guys, before I end it. I know you guys tuned in to, to catch some WWE shit. Jinder Mahal, it's going to be a big uh, several months for him. He's traveling over to India on December 8th and 9th for a big stadium couple of shows down there in India. And before that, in October, October 13th through 15th, he's doing a lot of promotional work for those shows and other things around India. So this leads us to believe, as many are saying Shinsuke Nakamura is going to walk out of Hell in a Cell this Sunday with the strap, this leads us to believe that maybe Jinder is keeping it. Because right after Hell in a Cell, which is the 8th, this Sunday, the 13th through the 15th, again, he's going to do a lot of promotional work over in India. You know Vince wants him to have that shiny strap on his shoulder as he's doing promotional work. And then, as I said, December 8th and 9th, they have those big shows over in India in the stadium. Those are going to be big shows for India, and Jinder Mahal is going to be the, the, the centerpiece of that, the focal point. So surely Vince is going to want a strap on him. So not only could Jinder Mahal hold the strap past Hell in a Cell, but that's in December, so Jinder Mahal could hold the strap past Survivor Series as well. Don't be surprised if Shinsuke does not walk out of Hell in a Cell with that strap. Guys, I do have to end it here, though. BC Amplified, uh, we blasted the Tyrese Rock saga. Uh, this is something that 2.0 would have been proud of, I'm sure, my performance. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for Hell in a Cell Amplified Booking. We're going to book that whole entire card from the ground up. And we're going to smash Vince's uh, booking of this card, I promise you. We're going to nail it. And I'm not even going to overbook it. I'm just going to book this regular, and we're, gonna, and we're still going to smash out the actual Hell in a Cell show Sunday. BC Amplified, guys. We're going to go down a shitload of fucking Starbucks. One of those Amplified size, right, Franklin? Amplified size of Starbucks coffee. We're going to kick a lot of fucking weekend ass, starting with Friday. And I'm going to check you guys later.